And <laughs> now, I just want to remind you that, you know, the school district does have a contract with all employees for the next two years, uh, which pretty much is reflected by that, you know, 4.65%. So playing around with those numbers uh, is contrary to the current contract that is out there. So those numbers are pretty much set for the next two years because they do have three-year contracts with all bargaining units. Uh, going forward, uh, I have to represent the unions here, and, and I'm real literally about – What's that? That's why you're here. Yep, and real leery about talking about any type of percentage going forward as far as salary growth because that is subject to bargaining. And, you know, to, you know, uh, make a recommendation now in the future that, you know, employees are only going to get 2% because someone likes the 2% number, that's something that I would never agree to, uh, even as a recommendation because I can't. We have a right to bargain those numbers and we're not going to, you know, set a percentage now going forward. So I'm just letting you know that even as a recommendation, I will never agree to any salary recommendation going forward where uh, we have a right to bargain at, and every unit has the right to bargain at going forward. And I do think, yes, I mean, it is true that FY18 and 19 numbers of the 4.65% growth is considered a fixed cost because of the contracts. That's not changing. So the contract is achieving funding, too, is that not correct? Well, it's only contingent on funding based on a very strict litmus test, and you have to go to court if it goes to federal court because we're considered a state agency. It's not something just like, well, the commissioners don't <laughs> feel like they think they can fund it. It's a much stricter standard. So at this point, those are fixed costs. I mean, what if you, but obviously when you were making, I'm just curious about this. Well, I have one of the court If you're making the here. projection, <laughs> how does the school board, because if the county decides not to give any more county revenue, then how do you address the fact that that right now you've got a, a gap of $8.5 million next year and a gap of the following year, not $20 million? Dan, the process is that should the general county commission not fully fund the contract and the board does, makes the decision not to find other revenue to fund the contract, then the provision is to both parties to agree to go back to the table or go through the process, due process associated with negotiations, which you end up with the delayed board. Okay. Yeah, but the court wouldn't necessarily can force the county, can the court, the, I'm sorry, can the court force the county to yes. give you more? I think that's correct. Yeah. Financial yes. consideration is yes. part of the It's an extreme case, so it doesn't happen like all the time. It does happen. I know the state of Arkansas had that happen mm -hmm. about, about a decade well, ago. Well, I just I'd like to say at this point the Board of Ed is committed to funding our negotiated agreement. So to me that's a fixed cost for the next two years that's so not negotiable. Yeah. Okay, I think I think we've covered I think no, we're I, just, I, 